a vital threat to humanity. That's how the leaders of Brazil and Colombia are describing the threat to their greatest natural treasure, the Amazon rainforest. My government is committed to ending deforestation by 2030. This is a commitment that Amazonian countries can take on together in the Belém plan. There is a lot of work we can cooperate on. Deforestation in the Amazon is at record levels, despite commitments by governments and companies across the region to stop it. And it's coming dangerously close to being 20% destroyed, a threshold which experts say would be a point of no return. Colombian President Gustavo Petro said rich countries should contribute to a fund to support farming communities who've been clearing forests to graze cattle. How much will they pay us for it? Why not do the same as those in the north did? The northern people wiped out the forests and killed the indigenous people. Is that development? Do we have to do the same? Or is there an entirely different perspective? Before arriving at the meeting, Brazil announced a 33% reduction in deforestation since President Lula returned to office six months ago. But experts say it's not enough, after the devastation caused during Jair Bolsonaro's administration, which weakened environmental restrictions. It's important not to underestimate a problem that has been accumulating for decades. It hasn't been a single government, but many consecutive ones that have allowed us to reach such a high level of degradation. We could soon reach the point of no return. International criminal networks are polluting rivers through illegal mining and cutting down the forests to expand cattle ranching and illicit crop cultivation. Colombia and Brazil say more regional integration is needed to fight against it. We will establish an international police cooperation center in Manaus and create an integrated air traffic control system which will help dismantle the route used by organized crime. The meeting laid the groundwork for a regional presidential level summit that will be held in Brazil next month, hoping to implement policies that could save one of the world's most important and fragile ecosystems before it's too late. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.